G'day everybody, this is Kiwi Jai Customs and Collections. And today I'm going to look at repairing the uh, gun posts on the Dreadnought Cycle. Um, and I sort of see this quite common, where this is sort of broken off from here. So instead of gluing it, well I will be using glue, I'm going to look at drilling a hole into here and then putting this piece of plastic into here. So the drill bit I'm using is a 3.2 drill bit. So let's move this motorcycle aside. And let's get underway. So slowly drilling a hole. I'm happy with that. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is I'll put this together. And I picked this up at Bunnings from Palmer's North. Um, and it's a power grip, Sally's power grip. It's uh, all plastic. So step one, which is this, is the primer. And then there's the glue. And I want to see how this, look, this works because if this works really well, I've got an idea for a uh, for a project which I'm going to be doing straight off this one. So first of all, get this out. I've already opened it up to fast, fast tape, fast it up. Looks like this could be in a pen form. So prime it up. Put the primer through this. We'll use this side. glue here okay it's like a gel very interesting
saying it's stronger than super glue it's also saying it's like shock resistant so as i said i, I want to give this a shot that works really well side here all right okay so that's it i'll let it to set okay so i've waited for about an hour hour and a half for the glue to dry it says a wait it says it's fully dry about 30 minutes but um i gave it a little bit longer um so my next thing to do is measure the height of this or the depth What I can roughly see, it's about 15 millimetres. Right. So that means from here to there, I'll do 15 millimetres, but I'm going to cut it about, about 20. about here it's better to cut like that okay let's see if it fits in there it should fit because i've already measured it out yep i've got another probably five mils of cut off there so it'll be about there okay that's trimmed down That's sitting a little bit higher, but overall I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, put the gun back on. Yeah, that stuff is pretty incredible actually. I think it's be ideal for my next job, which will be in the next video. So just a hint people that uh if you want to see what's coming up next and it's gonna be a big one i hate to say it but try and subscribe please and hit the notification yep that was good okay so another thing i see is that this stick is wearing off so i got this stuff from Mr. Models, and this is his own sort of stuff that he makes. Uh, and it's for like a glue for plastics and all that. I haven't really made it work for plastics, but I believe if I use a little bit, just a little bit, this dries real fast too. On here, she should stick on. Which it is. Yep, yeah, that's doing well. So, Mr. Models is where I get most of my uh, Tamiyo paints, like this, and this glue, and anything else I'm going to use for building. Um, all my tools, like, uh, like I get, let's put this motorcycle aside, all the tools I get, like this Ozero brand, uh, Rotary tool, I call it a Dremel, but actually it's called a Rotary tool. Um, I got that from Bunnings, Bunnings Warehouse from Palmerston North, uh, and they are really great. Like I've had that for ages, and it's a three year warranty, so you can't beat it. So, yeah, that's done real well. I'm happy with that, that works a treat. Just let you guys know that I use my flat spirits to clean my brushes. 
even with that glue. Um, it's my go-to thing and it works really well and keeps the brushes nice and soft, ready for my next project. Okay, so this is it, the Dreadnought motorcycle, or Dreadnought cycle, with its new gun, gun posts. I think it looks really cool. And let's start putting ourselves a rider and a gunner. And who have I got? Novahide and Road Pig version 2, or Supersonic Road Pig. This is the uh, third um, Dreadnought motorcycle I've owned. Um, I'll show you the next two. So here's my very first Dreadnought motorcycle, and that's Burnout riding it with Ropig version 1 on the gunner. Now once again, I had to use a Ropig's um, Sonic Fighter gun on that, sort of modified. Um, this has got the shield on it, so I might have to take that shield off and put it on there, or I don't even know what I call it, a shield. Maybe it's a safety rail, it doesn't do anything. Um, as you can see here, I have to get another seat sort of modified on that, because there was no seat originally on there. Uh, here's the second one which I got. I'll just move this aside a bit more. And that's driven by Sandar and his sister up top is a gunner. Um, so it had no handlebars originally on this. I have to sort of get some custom made. Uh, it's got a Tomahawk missiles on, underneath and it was missing the gun completely so I just had a spare um, gun for the Cobra uh, Moray, that's the hover foil boat, I may have said that wrong. Um, but it's quite fitting because uh, the Dreadnoughts operate, well they got, uh, it says in the file cards, oh, also forgot to mention that I got the wheels from the um, All Striker, because I was also missing the back wheels, and it's basically wheels and a screw. Crude, but effective. Um, but it literally said that they got this motorcycle, built it from parts from a junkyard. So, I feel it's only fitting that the motorcycles should be all different. I personally believe that when the uh, motorcycle came out, Hasbro should have brought us a, a few variants of these. Um, you know, okay, so it's probably getting uh, kids like myself when I was back in the day to entice our parents to buy more of these motorcycles because that would be different. But I believe it looks quite cool that it's different turrets, uh, different missiles, different seats. I mean, I could well change the colour entirely, but I like, I like it the way it is. So with that... Now it's uh, time for me to have a break. And I will join you guys later.